W-I-X-Y, Cleveland. Chip Hobart salutes the Rolling Stones. Quixie Radio with the triple play. Ohio, and uh, it is Chicken Man's favorite hangout. Hopefully, you're going to come on out here, and uh, we got a great night playing the best variety in the 60s and 70s. We're going to keep the music coming. Got your requests coming up. Uh, you can get to our uh, inbox at wixie1260online.com. Uh, fill out that uh, song request form. Chip, look this way. Dad, look over that way. Chip Hobart is with us tonight. Well, hey, Ray. And Lindsay. Kind of looking a little bit like this. We're going to get down to uh, 56 for a lower overnight after a high. Officially in the current land of CLE, 81 degrees we got to today. Tomorrow, Saturday on the North Coast, it's going to get wet. And uh, 60 for a high, 37 for a low. Sunday, much of the same. 63 for a high, 40 for a low. And uh, some of that wet stuff coming out of the sky. This is Joanne. 69 degrees. The rock and roll capital of America. It is Friday the 13th. Hopefully, you're not superstitious. And it's Stevie Wonder. Too many times you won't get it. Come on, Lenny, go for us. Hold up to the camera. Hold the cake up to the camera. How old is this guy? Now that is good. Now that's an Oreo cake. Absolutely. We need it like a hole in the head, right? Absolutely. <laughs> He's going to be doing a special show on our station on Sunday, 3 to 6 p.m., so be sure to tune in for that. Stephanie, sending this one out to Keith. Aaron from Palma Heights, sending that out to Mike. 1970 weeks ago. My pledge of love, the Joe Jeffries Group, 833 on a Friday night, coming to you live from the clubhouse. This is Tony Z, and you've got Wixie 1260 online, the Internet's best oldie station, playing the best variety of the 60s and 70s. Not only is it Friday the 13th, but it's a very special evening. I'm very honored and privileged to be able to present to you Chip Hobart who was a DJ in 1971 on the original Wixie 1260 AM. He is with us. He is right here beside me. Let's give a big clubhouse welcome to Chip Hobart. Woo! Thank you, Tony. It's really great to be here. And uh, I actually uh, came in for the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, induction ceremony tomorrow. Went to the Rock Hall today. What a fantastic place. I mean, gee, I had never been there before, and I love that place. Well, a lot going on this weekend, for sure, with well, the inductions, uh, yep. Yeah, even today, it was a total zoo, and, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm such a big fan of the Moody Blues and think it was so high time that they finally got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, since Dire Straits is going to be... Uh, inducted as well, Mark Loffler, not Ma Mark Knopfler, hello, <laughs> did not talk much? Uh, Mark Knopfler isn't going to be there, so it won't be quite the same, but uh, just a, a fantastic place, and I, I really like Cleveland, and uh, I was only here a few months, and then uh, was conned into, well, not conned into, but uh, talked into going back to Boston, which is uh, near my Vermont home, and so my daughter Lindsay and I drove in from uh, Burlington, Vermont uh, yesterday, uh, it was a great uh, 550 miles, and we listened to plenty of Wixie 1260 online, and I tell you, I love this radio station. Well, we appreciate hearing that. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. Now, well, I'm an oldies hound. I absolutely, and you know, believe it or not, I still have in my personal collection, still in boxes, Tony, 5,000 albums and 4,500 45s. So I play about as um, many uh, songs as Wixie does. As we're, we're up close to 5,000 songs. And you know, the average radio station, terrestrial or other, plays maybe four or 500 songs. 
If you want to get real variety, you have to listen to Wixie 1260 online because we play, like I said, almost 5,000 titles. So we don't play just the number one songs. We play, you know, a lot more than that. And it's just so great. I love to, I love to listen to Wixie 1260. Well, being back in, uh, in town now and being gone for so long, uh, obviously a lot of things have changed. The landscape has changed. Uh, any, any special memories that you remember when you were here for that short period of time? Probably, you, you didn't even have time to probably change the sheets on your bed. You were only here a couple of months. But... No, no, and Steve Hunter and I were roommates, and uh, Steve and I were both basically slobs living out of our suitcases down Euclid Avenue. And uh, my favorite story from... When I was at Wixie 1260 on Euclid, was that uh, what? The mic's not right, Ray? Oh, um, I locked myself out. I had to run down to my Volkswagen to uh, get something out of it, and I'd forgotten to bring my keys. And of course, the station was upstairs, and uh, I was like down in the parking lot, one f- level below. And the door automatically locked, and I forgot my keys. Well, fortunately, the transmitter site had an emergency tape that went on, oh, probably a minute or two into dead air. So um, after about an hour, I got somebody to come and let me in, but it was really, really embarrassing. And the tape had almost run out. It was just an hour emergency tape, and I had egg on my face big time. So that was my that was my big memory of, and I loved working with Chuck Dunaway because what a great uh, DJ and what a great uh, program manager Mr. Dunaway was. Awesome. Now you came in in September of '71. You did, I, I believe, if I read uh, things correctly, you did the eight to midnight slot. Yeah. You followed Steve Hunter, who actually replaced Chuck uh, Knapp, who had left to go yeah. to Atlanta. And uh, anyway, but you you were for a couple of months. Do you remember what you were doing the week of October 22nd, 1971? Mm, was I arrested for something? Or? Well, I'll tell you what you were doing. According to the Plain Dealer, Wixie was doing a promotion for the Osmonds, the Yo-Yo Caravan, the oh, Wixie oh. Yo-Yo Caravan. Oh, God, I've tried to forget that. Tell and me. it was making its rounds. And believe it or not, you're not a stranger to the west side of Cleveland. On Monday of that week, you were at Southland Shopping Center, which is just down the road here. Uh, you went over to the east side, the Great Lakes Mall, on Tuesday. On Wednesday, you were at Lakewood High School. On Thursday, the Richmond Mall. And then on Friday, back over here in the Parma area at Parma High School. So uh, there you go. And I think those were all free gigs, too. <laughs> <laughs> I never got a dime for any of them, but it was fun. Well, just an FYI, Chip is going to be doing a very special show on our station. I don't uh, know how special it's going to well, be. Well, it's, it's special for us, let me tell you. This Sunday from 3 to 6 p.m., Rock and Ray King is going to be running the uh, controls of the Wixitronic. Chip is going to be doing his thing. We want you to tune in. Wixie 1260 online. Hey, you want to go back to 1971 and uh, oh, reminisce it. a bit? Here we go. 1971. Bubblegum lives on at Wixie 1260. Let's hear it for Chip Hobart. Wixie 1260 online. Here are the Osmonds. I had to do it. Yo, yo. And you got it at Wixie 1260 online. You are a very mean man. Huh? You're very mean. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. It's awesome. Yeah. 